welcome back to my channel. It is time for my monthly ferrets. Yay! I don't know what's wrong with me, but there is always something wrong. All right, guys, let's just address the elephant in the room. And it's not Tofu playing with his toys. It is the biggest pimple on my nose. Ooh, so disgusting. This pimple is so annoying. It was like an underground pimple. Like you don't see it, but you feel it. And then it starts throbbing and then it starts raising up from the ground and it starts growing eyes and it's like, eh. and that is what happened. And it was so red and it started becoming, I'm sorry if this is too much for you guys, but I never get anything like this and it's like crazy. And I got to the point where I said, I have to do something about it. And I kind of messed with it and it popped and it died. Now it's like healing. It's just so red and pigmented that I put a little concealer and it turned purple. So that is what I wanted to let you guys know. I'm human. I'm not perfect. I get imperfections like these. So, okay. All right, moving on. This product I have is lash glue. You guys know I love my drugstore lash glues. Kiss lashes are my favorite. So they are hyperallergenic, ophthalmologist tested, which means contact wear use friendly. So they offer this in squeezy tubes and also, which is my favorite application, a little brush applicator that you can kind of brush the adhesive. This is actually their newest clear lash adhesive, which is called the Eye Glow Premium Lash Adhesive. It's not just blue that turns into a clear that is really interesting. It actually has this cooling property that makes it more soothing when you put it onto your skin. I don't know how to explain it, but it's actually really cool. And I have added this to my makeup kit. Grande Lashes, guys. This is an actual serum to help your lashes lift and grow. You're supposed to use a thin coat as if you're applying eyeliner on right before you go to bed. And this is supposed to help strengthen and also help grow. So I actually took pictures of the first week and the second week, so I will keep you guys posted. I love wearing my falsies, don't get me wrong, but if I can find a treatment or solution to help my lashes grow and maybe get fuller, why not try this? Shout out to my girl, Elisa, for this grande lashes. Thanks, girl. Silicone applicator, guys. I wasn't really sure what to think about this. It's basically a shape of a beauty blender, but it's flat and it's a silicone pad and you can use this for makeup application. This was a huge trend last year and I'm not sure when Milk Makeup came out with this, but my girl B, shout out to you girl, thanks again for this. I've actually used this for application and it was kind of weird at first, but I actually like this. This is easy to take with you for traveling. You can wash this right away. You don't have to wait for it to dry, you know, like brushes. So I think this is actually a really cool Cool makeup tool to take with you for traveling again it's nice you can apply this under your eyes it's easy to blend you can pat in the skin stay tuned my next makeup video I'll use this as an applicator and tell you guys how I feel about this Skincare guys, I love skincare. I've been really into skincare because I really want my skin to be healthy, youthful because prevention is key guys. If you guys haven't heard of this brand, this is Indie Lee. They are one of the cleanest skincare line at Sephora. Indie Lee is another upcoming skincare line. I would say it targets more like Kate Somerville type of clients. This cleanser is actually amazing. It cleans all the dirt, all the toxin and breaks down all that waterproof makeup for you. What I really like about this cleanser is that it has a really fresh scent. So I do look forward to actually cleaning my face at night or in the morning. It contains strawberry seed oil and also tomato. So it's gonna give you the antioxidant properties, brightening the skin, but it also does its job by cleaning all that dirt off your face. You guys have to try this cleanser. It's so gentle and it's also cruelty free. Am I the last person on earth to try this drugstore lip gloss? This is NYX Butter Gloss. I love this stuff. I'm not really a big lip gloss person when it comes to colors. This actually has just enough color. It's so buttery. It smells like butter, like caramel. Really, really sweet. But I just love the texture of this and I seriously don't know where I've been. My niece gave me this and I have to add this to my favorite because she is so cute. She got me this little bunny and you basically attach your cable cord to it. So she actually got me this one too, this lion one. I thought it was so, so freaking cute. I don't know how to do this though. I think you just kind of slip this in between. So you basically, <sighs> okay. So basically you put your cable cord there and then you can charge it. And it looks like it's like eating your phone. <laughs> so cute. She gave this to me for Christmas and she's like, I used my own money to buy this. <laughs> and recently she just gave me this little pink bunny that I'm gonna use for my other charger. Thank you, Mui Mui. 
Another favorite, Rosed Mist. This is a brand new product. I haven't opened it yet just because I have a small one that I've been using. This is by Corez and this is the Hydrating Mist Rose or H2 Rose. So basically a water elixir, rose infused, brightens the skin. This is so nice because it just gives you extra hydration, skin finish, doesn't feel tacky or anything because it is water based. So the last favorite I have is actually this big old big old sweater. It's a long sweater with large pockets. It's a short sleeve looking like a robe. It's super wide so it actually feels like a big robe. So my last trip to New York in December, I purchased this or actually my husband bought this for me when we went to the Topshop store in Soho. I love this sweater and I was like, I don't know when I want to wear this. So I was kind of on the fence if I wanted to buy this or not. It was on sale for 50 bucks and I'm so glad that I bought it. I'll insert a picture right here. It's a super cozy snuggly sweater that you can wear. Clearly it's an oversized sweater, but it's really cute to wear with like fitted clothes underneath. The other picture I have here was from the front view. It was so bright. I looked so washed out. I literally looked like I had no teeth. The sweater's really cute because you can dress up or down with it. You can wear anything you want. It's just been a really cute trend. I've been loving it this winter because it's just easy to wear. All right, guys, that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below some of your favorites or what I should try out next. I do have the new Giorgio Armani concealers video coming up. I just have to work on this little guy right here before I can actually film because it's actually disturbing it. And I'm sure throughout this video, you guys are like, ew. Anyways, like I said, I ain't perfect. This is me. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys in my next videos and see you soon. Bye.